Springtime in California is absolutely beautiful. Look at all of this color. We have these orange uh, California poppies. Uh, I don't know what these yellow ones are, but there's also, oh, I see some yellow fiddle necks there. But you know what else has a lot of color? This snake right here. Look at that. This is a long nose snake. It has some gorgeous red speckling on it as well. And a great way to start off our adventure here out in Southern California. Let's get flipping. <laughs> Can you believe this is a desert? It's hard to imagine, but the Mojave Desert is actually home to a variety of wildflowers that bloom every spring. This year, the wildflowers are especially abundant thanks to all the recent rain. I joined up with a few of the admins of the Wild Snakes Education Discussion Facebook group to see what was hiding in this barrage of color. Oh, right here. Look, look at that. All right, look at that rattlesnake. First snake of the day here. This is a Mojave rattlesnake. You can see it's got a little bit of white um, in the near the bands near the near the rattle, but it also has a nice greenish color. It doesn't really show up too well on camera, but some of our field marks here. What's what's that? This right here. Did you come back? No, it's a snake. Yeah, it's a snake. It's a dead snake. But look at this snake. One more. This one I flipped up. Unfortunately, I don't think I can identify it at this point. It is a gopher snake. Ah, and how are you identifying it? Oh, there's, there's a little some scales. bit of pattern right there. Nice. Well, they're definitely. We've definitely found gophers in this area Daddy, before, thanks. and of course. Daddy, Again, among the beautiful poppies, California is looking good. Ooh, here's an, actually, let me just walk through here, try not to step on any of these protected poppies. But you see that purple flower right there? That is an owl's clover. One more. And you can see some of the more, uh, the fiddle necks uh, are all in this area, taller with the yellow. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. One, right. two, three, go. Got him. Ah, you got me. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Let's go. Okay. Woo. Okay, you got to get your, your coach whip bike. Now you got to get a video, coach whip bike. Video, video, video. All right. First get there. there you go. Oh, go. beauty. Might not make it, guys. Oh, my goodness. This is amazing. Uh, Let's go. So check this out. This is a coach whip. This is uh, somewhat young of a coach whip. Uh, it gets these like, the adults look very much like whips uh, and they have little sort of black borders to their scale. But when they're young like this, they have a slightly different pattern, but really cool to see. I think this is a, is this a lifer for you? For you? Nice. Look at this Gilbert skink. This is a returning, uh, guest star on the channel uh, Zeev just uh, just flipped it up and this is the one that we took its little tail tip from uh, just a few weeks ago uh, and we, we grabbed its tail tip uh, for research um, so really really cool to see uh, this uh, this guest star here Justin just flipped up this little side blotch lizard this is a regular visitor regular guest star on the channel we see plenty of these but nice to have just one documented for the day Right. Yeah, I want a coat. Danny just flipped up this baby Mojave rattlesnake. That's uh, the main rattlesnake we've we've seen out in this part. So it's nice that it's nice and coiled and doesn't really seem too disturbed yet. Is he under this? Uh huh? Go ahead. Oh yeah. Oh. That's a nice one. This is my flip. A little another baby Mojave rattlesnake. Oh no, he's here. He just ran over here. He just ran over here. He just ran right into his bush. I think he's under you, Aaron. Oh, he just ran over you. Here, 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 here,
This is what I come for the desert for right here. Leopard nice. Lizard. Leopard lizard. Right, check it out. Here's that close up of that long nosed leopard lizard that the group was just diving all over the place to catch. These guys are super fast. Uh, really, they just dart much faster than other other lizards that we that we deal with. One of the cool aspects of a leopard lizard is that the females will actually change color when they are ready to breed, and they'll have like orangish, reddish colors on them until they uh, until they start to actually lay their eggs. And he was living in this trash pile here, but if we zoom out a little bit, you can see that this landscape is really gorgeous. All right, bye, buddy. Let's see how fast you take off. You don't take off at all. Check it out. We are just. Flipping snakes left and right. Here is a gopher snake. So, neat. Another one of our regulars on the channel. Here goes Zeev. Oh, look at that. So, Zeev, tell us what you're looking at here. That is a male. That's two of them. Well, the other one doesn't want to come back out, but there we go. Kind of. It's a little boy. Yeah, that is the hemi penis. He's got a meal in him too. What a lovely snake. An amazing habitat. Just uh, just such beautiful colors uh, on the ground here and in the animals that we keep finding. So really cool. We're not spending a ton of time with each snake because we do have a large group. And so, you know, as we start to look at one of these snakes, somebody flips up something new. But so far, two of these finds have been mine, um, but the rest have been other talented members of the group. But we're gonna put this guy back and continue. All right, bye-bye, snake. Nope, go back under your carpet. Check that out. We just walked up upon a Blainsville horn lizard. Now these, uh, these little lizards are protected so unfortunately we can't handle it but it's been kind enough to just sort of sit here still uh, in the um, in the dirt here and uh, while we can get footage and you can hear in the background that we are like just off the highway so you know they're living in pretty urban-ish environments which is kind of cool these lizards are really hard to find it's only the second time I've ever seen one because uh, their populations are not doing so well due to the introduction of uh, um, like fire ants and, and other non-native ants. They eat the black carpenter ants and uh, if those ants aren't doing well then these lizards aren't doing well either. So, oh, but there he goes. Off to see the next thing. Sweet, another gopher snake. You may recognize this uh, piece of tin that we flipped. Uh, these gopher snakes have been hanging under there for a couple weeks now so it's neat to see that they're still sticking around. Oh ho! Another big gopher. These are starting to become pretty common in our video, so we're just gonna catch a, get a few hand shots and then move on. All right, check out this little western skink uh, that uh, Josh just slipped up. It even has its lovely blue tail still. They have this when they're juveniles. Give you a little bit of better focus on it so you can see just how bright blue it is. I mean, it's it's kind of the same color that you see on like Stellar's Jays, that royal blue, but really pretty Western skink. And with that, another adventure concluded. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'm Greg Schechter, and I'll see you in the field.